So now I want to transition to a more simplistic example of a sketch problem, also highlighting the difference between a yellow warning and a red air. So this is the example that we use for looking at the timeline, understanding more about the timeline. And now we're going to come to the very beginning of that timeline, and we're going to just right click and delete the first sketch. That's really the profile sketch that the following extrusion and really all the features after that are dependent on. So I'll get a warning. You'll notice the background is yellow. And it says one reference fail. The profile reference is lost. Try editing this feature to reselect the lost profile. So it cached the profile sketch of this extrusion. And really, we, what we need to do to resolve that is recreate that sketch. In order to do that, I'm going to have to roll my timeline marker or the timeline before the extrusion. So I have to create something essentially before that extrusion is computed. So I remember that I created a sketch on essentially the XZ plane. And this is going to be kind of interesting. I'm just going to quickly create a much smaller profile sketch than what we had before. I'll roll that timeline past that extrusion. You'll notice there's a significant difference between the size, uh, the outside bounding gray box you see there, and that's the blue sketch line that you see in the middle. So if I want to resolve this, I have to right-click and edit the feature. I can go ahead and select that new profile sketch, and it resolves it, although it's just a lot smaller than it used to be. So, so far we've resolved a yellow warning for the extrusion. If we roll it forward again, now we get a red background, so we actually get an error for the fillet feature. And this is not surprising. If I click on this, you can see that it's looking to fillet something, the corners or edges specifically, that it no longer sees. And it's so much of a drastic difference, there's no way to cache the data. So the way that we resolve that error is that we right click again, we can edit the feature, we can now reselect, and that's generally how you go about resolving most problems like this. In the last example where I had to reorientate a sketch, that may be possible, but a lot of them are going to be more feature based, I, I assume. And so we'll give it a radius. And then as I roll forward again, I suspect that our shell may not be doing what we want it to be doing either. We can take that and essentially make it much smaller. And so that's essentially resolved that we're nowhere near the design that we had before, but it shows you that you know, if you're changing the profile of something, you don't really start over. You still have these features, but you do have to go back and redefine them, repoint them, repoint profile sketch if you remove it, if it got deleted, and things like that. So I hope seeing this more simplistic comparison of the yellow background and the red background, the warning kind of versus the air, and how that all kind of ties into sketch errors and problems, as well as the compute errors and stuff. Now, the next section is going to focus specifically on compute errors. And I know you've already seen some of those triggered by a sketch problem. Um, and that's because there is going to be some overlap. Really, all this is kind of intertwined in editing errors and design changes. So regardless if I'm editing a sketch or if I'm editing a feature, I'm removing a feature, I'm removing a sketch, I'm reorientating those things. The fundamentals are really the same. I have to identify that where the, the problem is, what type of problem it is, tack the timeline, so to speak, and start interrogating that, and then ultimately start right-clicking, editing, resolving, replacing geometry there. So we'll see in the next section focusing more on compute errors.